How's it going, everybody? Brent Alverson, Dave Meltzer here, Wrestling Observer Radio. It is September 26, 2022. Figure 4, online.com slash wrestlingobserver.com. we got a lot of news to get into here today, including some updates on a lot of different guys, including Buddy Matthews, who did a job on Friday after being sprayed with mist by the great Muda. And then has stated publicly that he needs to step away for a while. What's going on? You tell me what's going on. It's uh, he kind of uh, he was on a show in Rhode Island last night and uh, said that he needed to step away and recalibrate. And even mentioned Malachi Black. It was almost it was very very similar wording to what Malachi Black said when he did that independent show a week or two ago. I mean, obviously he's it's the same situation. Um, how it's being handled. I mean, like. What's going to happen is up in the air, but, uh, I mean, he's gone for now, and he's made it, he's like, it's just for now, and I'll see you soon type of a thing, and obviously, you know, he's like Malachi Black, uh, they both wanted to leave, and they want to go to WWE, they're both under long-term contract, and we'll have to see how this plays out, it's kind of a weird, it's not a weird situation, but it's a situation with AEW, it's like, what exactly... Uh, do you, do you want to do, do you want to hold guys to the contract? Um, I mean, for years when they want to leave, I mean, it's, if it was WWE, would they hold the guys to the contract? You know, probably not. Probably they would. Um, we, you know, there, there, there are exceptions. I mean, they did let Goldust go, uh, to, uh, you know, Dustin Runnels go to AEW, but most of the guys that wanted to go, you know, had to sit out. Uh, a long, long period of time. They were getting paid, um, but they had to wait for their contract to expire. And in many cases, they had to wait much longer because as soon as they thought their contract expired, they would get a letter saying, well, you missed six months, you know, uh, due to injury. So your contract is gone for six more months. So, um, which they legally had the right to do. Um, I mean, it's in- it would be interesting because in, in the case of, you know, Malachi Black, just as an example, who missed some time, you know, I mean, it's five years, and he could probably extend it a couple more months, but I, I don't expect that to happen, and the feeling is Malachi Black's been released, and what's happening with Buddy, we'll have to wait and see. It's kind of a weird situation, because so much of the stuff that's going on in AEW is uh, its so much speculation, because they don't say anything about anything, um, and it's kind of funny, because, um, you know, Tony Khan comes from an NFL background and a soccer background. And I mean, in in the case of guys asking for time off for, you know, to get themselves calibrated or whatever, you know, you can, um, you know, you may not want to say that publicly, although they've said it publicly. Um, so at that point, if they've already said it, it's not exactly confidential. Um, but, you know, if, if players on the soccer team or players on the football team just disappeared, um, you know, I mean, it would be, you know, put out like, you know, this is what happened and they're getting released or they're not getting released or they're taking time off and whatever, you know, as opposed to, you know, having to speculate on everything because nobody says anything, which is the story of so much in AEW right now, which I mean, it's part of it. I mean, I guess it's, it's, okay but it, it's when it, in in certain cases when it's never explained to the public that's watches the tv it makes it appear that there are many booking holes because of these types of situations that are never addressed on television i mean in some form uh i mentioned to garrett i mean in, in some form like he was brought up he brought up um you know the the tag match and no mention of malachi black to the tv audience but they're called the house of black and you know, the announcers, there's an obvious question that even fans who don't pay attention and only may, may watch television are going to go, hey, what happened to the guy? And, um, you know, I mean, the announcers, in theory, that should be the announcer's job. And uh, they're not allowed to say anything, so they don't. And it makes for, um, you know, I don't I don't think it makes for uh, good um, relations with your audience, really. So, um, but... You know, I mean, there's ways to say it, you know, that, um, you know, Malachi Black was run out of the promotion. I mean, that's kind of what would be said in the old days that, uh, you know, he, you know, Sting gave him his medicine and he's 
packed his bags and he's gone. And then at least there's an explanation. He's gone as opposed to what's going on. Um, so anyway, uh, we will probably be having more of those. Not necessarily more people wanting to leave, uh, but but more unexplained things, um, you know, just because that's kind of the nature of the beast right now. But um, uh, I don't know if anybody else is, um, I mean, I haven't heard any names, and I know a lot of the talent did not know of any of this until today. It wasn't like on Monday, the word, or I should have Monday, on Wednesday, uh, when they taped that the word was going around, this is uh, Buddy's last match or anything like that. Um, you know, they're finding out as well, and they don't really know anything. I don't think that, um, you know, I mean, it's like he's a good wrestler. Um, in, in, in one sense, you want to go with the idea that, you know, it's like, do you, you know, I mean, if he leaves, is it, does it really damage the company? And the answer is no. You know, it's not like he's a top-tier guy or anything like that. If he wants to leave, you know, especially when it's many, many years. At the same time, it's like, you know, you sign these guys to contracts. And like I said, if the opposite was the case, let's just say that, you know, somebody in WWE is unhappy and wants to go and ask out of their contract, would they be allowed? And uh, probably not. They'd have to sit out the remainder of their contract. So, um, but do you want somebody unhappy, moping, um, not really benefiting you any, in any way uh, just to keep them from going? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I guess like the nice guys things would be, would say, Hey, his girlfriend's there. Um, you know, he, he might, maybe he can make more money there. He's not really, you know, it's like, it's not like he's in a key position here. It's not like he can't be replaced here. Let's be a nice guy. And then the, on the, on the, on the other hand, you know, you're, you're in a wrestling war, whether you like it or not, you are. And you're playing nice guy and the other guys are certainly not going to play nice guy back in the same situation so um you know just a lot of different questions you know um so that's the basic buddy buddy matthews situation i don't know you hear anything or nothing yeah what do you think i think they should let him go i would be surprised if they let him go i'll just put it that way I mean, what's what's the point of signing people to contracts if they want to go and you just let them go? I mean... Agreed. Agreed. And what's the point? You know, I mean, a lot of guys, I, I mean, it's... But at the, same, at the same time, you know what? It's like... Uh, if you have got... You know, in, in the situation AEW is in, if you have guys who, for whatever, whatever reason, um, don't feel like... You know, it's it's really a situation where I think that that with AEW um, and and they really do. You know, I mean, the guys that I've talked that I've heard from, I should say, you know, are are you know, I mean, people think like uh, the morale's really bad right now, and actually, it's much better than it's been in a long time because those that are there are you know really gung ho, you know, on the idea of you know it's, just, it's a real team spirit right now. Um, in most cases, and in the people where it's not, it's almost like. Do you want that negativity around? You know, you could just do the same thing that WWE might do in, in a situation like this when somebody says that they want to go publicly. Mustafa Ali, perfect example, right? Wants to go. And obviously wanted to go to AEW at the time, you know, when, when he said that. Um, and they just sent him home. That way he wasn't, it wasn't hurting morale because nobody saw him. And then finally, you know, they brought him back and, I'm sure, you know, it's like they, they pushed him for his two or three weeks, and now he's back on main event every week. And I'm sure, you know, if he had the choice, um, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but I would I would suspect he probably feels like he did before, that he's underutilized and maybe he could do better elsewhere, you know. Um, and in his case, um, yeah, you don't know. I mean, AEW so loaded right now. Uh, he's a super talented guy, and and his style is more conducive to AEW. But AEW also has so many guys, and I mean they've got really talented guys that that are not getting a lot of TV time because of there's only so much TV time. So I couldn't even say. I mean, I guess it couldn't be worse if you were Mustafa Ali to go there. It wouldn't be worse. I don't know that it would be better. Um, it might be better. You just it's it's one of those things, but it's not going to happen because WWE's not going to release him until his contract's up anyway. So. Um, 
you know, that's kind of. Uh, I would say that my my thought on this would be that if I if I were Tony Khan, if I ran a company and I signed someone to a three year deal, and a year in they didn't want to be there and they wanted to go somewhere else, I would say, well, no. But what you can do is, if you don't want to be here anymore, you can sit out the remainder of your time, and then you can do whatever you want. As opposed but to, then, but then you're paying guy to do nothing. Well, I mean, what am I going to make him do? I mean, I can force him to come to work and do jobs and everything like that. But how does that benefit me? My point is, if you want to leave, this is not. I would not do the freeze the contract. Like you have to work out the contract or whatever. I mean, if you want to quit, you have to. You but you, the point is, you have to wait out. That you agreed to be here for three years, so you're here for three years. If you don't want to be on TV, fine. Like you know, you can do house shows or whatever. Or they don't do house shows. Whatever. Uh, but you and, are and here for not, three and, years. And, and That's if you're it. Not on, if you're not on TV, you you know, I mean, you're not going to do pay per views. I mean, you could do um, dark and dark ele- elevation. Although you know, and I mean, this, I don't know. Um, if a guy's heart's not into it, um, especially like you know, a guy like that who's not supernaturally charismatic or anything like that, and if he's going to not really want to be there, but I'm not advocating releasing him because the guy did sign a contract and. Um, that's the key. He he agreed to be there for three years or whatever. Or whatever. And it is, yeah. and I know that people would say, well, things change in debit. Well, that that's fine. Things change every day. I mean, things, who knows things, if Hunter's going to be there in a year? No one knows anything. No, I mean, you could you could get no, released. No, you could go to WWE, sign for five years. Hunter's out in a year, and now you're angry. Well, you signed a contract for five years, so you're there for five years. That's it. Yeah, unless they cut you. I mean, one of the things with 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 AEW that you do have to say is that if you sign. A contract for for three years in AEW, it is a three year contract. You sign a contract for three years in WWE, it could end any day. I mean, they you know it's like uh, now they have not done since Vince left, and granted it's a very short period of time. They have not cut anyone um, while under contract since Vince left, but they cut what was it eighty guys over the course of a year. Um, that had time on their contract, high paid contracts that, uh, you know, some of whom, you know, um, uh, you know, were really bitter about it. And now <laughs> may, may, may end up back there. Uh, but yeah, it's an interesting time. But, well, it um, is. But the other thing here is, listen, I think that if you're signed to a three year deal, the right thing to do is to employ that person for three years. However, if the WWE contract states that you are committed to us for three years, but we can fire you in ninety days, well, you sign the contract. That's true. I so, mean, they have the legal—they have the legal right to do it. Yeah, I'm not questioning I mean, the legal right. Uh, yeah. it, 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 this may not be like the nice, to, the right thing to do, but if that's what the contract says and you sign the contract, then you can't really complain that the contract is one-sided. You signed the one-sided contract. If you don't like a one-sided contract, don't sign it and don't go to WWE. Yeah, but everyone's going to sign it and go to WWE, and they don't have a lot of leverage either way. I mean, that's that's you know that's the way to you know. I mean, unless you're Brock Lesnar and you can you know get a no cut, you know what I'm saying? I mean, even even Kevin Owens didn't get a no cut, and he had leverage. Um, you know, I mean, you know, he was he was promised, I'm sure, but they all are. You know that that we're not going to cut you, but it's it's not like it's in writing. You know, I mean, there's there are no cuts, but there are very, very few in in WWE, and only the top top guys, um, you know, only the top top guys have that leverage to have them. In, in in, I don't know what the AEW situation is as far as legality of the contracts. If there are clauses where you can cut people, but so far, I mean, the only guys, um, the only guys that I can recall. That that Tony has cut while still under contract would be disciplinary reasons, and in there might have been a case or two. I think there were two cases during the pandemic where they just, you know, they were in a foreign country and they couldn't come in, and it was going to be a long, long time. And he did cut them, um, you know. So uh, that's um, you know that's pretty much. I mean, people who just he just couldn't use. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. 
the 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.